how do you lower your chances of developing Alzheimer's disease? I mean, I hear it. People will tell me, well, Dr. Tam, it runs in my family. My so-and-so had it, my grandmother had it, my aunt had it. Ultimately, I'm gonna get it too. Well, yes, it may increase the chance of you getting Alzheimer's disease, but here's some things that you can do today to start lowering your chance of Alzheimer's. Number one, reduce your blood pressure. Yes, as we age, our blood pressure starts to climb, but if you're eating all the wrong foods causing too much inflammation, when your blood pressure gets to say 150 over 90, it may be very unhealthy. Is the goal to just take high blood pressure medications? No, that is not the way to go about it because it can only cause more side effects. Change your eating habits, change what you're doing. Number two, manage your glucose levels because as you age, your body does not need as much sugar as well, especially if your activity levels are not doing what you were doing, well, when you were in your 20s, right? Be healthy overall, decrease the inflammation in your body. What you should be doing is eating less sugars, sleeping better, working on all the things that you need to do to decrease your inflammation. Working out is actually one of them. When you work out, you actually increase the level of oxygen within your muscles, increase your ATP over time, and increase your endurance, which is your lung and heart health. That's all really, really important in the long run. Also. Stop smoking. If you want a cigar once in a while, I'm not gonna say, hey, don't have it, but just know any smoking, smoking, vaping, cigars, cigarettes, marijuana, whatever it may be, it decreases oxygen flow in your blood, in your system. Although certain chemicals that you might smoke might feel relaxing to you, but it's also cutting off blood flow as well. Alcohol, when you're drinking alcohol, don't consume it on a daily basis. Alcohol is a toxin in the body. That's why your liver fights so hard to get rid of it. And that's also why fatty liver, cirrhosis of the liver kind of comes with alcohol consumption. Although now, nowadays, too much sugar consumption can also cause cirrhosis of the liver as well. Sleep, why is sleep so important? You have to sleep well because sleeping is what gets your brain to actually heal. Churning of the cerebral spinal fluid, getting from the top of your spine to the bottom of your tailbone, it's going to work really well when you sleep well. You will get less brain fog, you'll be more alert, you'll actually remember things instead of, huh, why am I in this room, right? Get some good sleep, heal the brain, it pulls inflammation out of your brain, let the brain get more energy, let you get more energy. Well, what if I'm just laying there playing with my phone? I'm resting. No, you're not. Have you ever tried laying there and playing with your phone all night long as if you never slept? Well, because your brain never got to rest, your body might be doing the same thing, just laying there, but you're so exhausted the next day. Try these things next time you think about, well, I wanna keep my memory. I don't want to have Alzheimer's or dementia, and I don't want to follow the same path that my grandfather, my grandmother, or any of my aunts have dealt with. All right, let's get your life back.